Hello and welcome to Catfish Trash Talk. This is episode 72. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my wonderful co-host, comedian Noel W. Herzog. What is the problem, Noel? Uh, just I'm noticing that it's like dark in back of me and your eyes are getting crazier. It's a little it's later late. in the day. It's too late. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what happens. It's yeah. too late. This is what happens. Should, yeah. No, I uh I was like, hey, let's <laughs> record before um things fall apart before you start howling at the moon. <laughs> right. <laughs> so here we are, uh, season three, episode eight of catfish, the television show, Miranda and Cameron. What a dumb episode, right? Lots of twists and turns. I don't know if it was dumb. You think every episode is, dumb. I don't think it was dumb. I thought yeah. I will tell you, I did not remember not one part of this. You know what? I thought it was dumb, like for a couple of reasons, but I okay. did remember this episode too. Um, I know Isn't it you, fun doing this with me? Because I have no recollection. Like everything You're is very innocent. No, but I thought like last week's episode was great with the yeah. Joker poker player. <laughs> no, that was like two weeks ago. Last week was the wig. Was my oh, space okay. wigs. I thought that was a good episode too. Yeah, this one, I guess, because I remembered it like all the way. I was like, I Mah. didn't even. I was shocked. Really? I yeah, I'm easy. I'm easy. I'm That's easy. Great. All right. So season three, episode eight, Um, we start off with Neve juggling. There's a lot of circus themes in all of our podcasts this week. Yes. Um. So uh, single life trash talk, which is on our Patreon, patreon.com mm-hmm. slash trash talk podcast. We learned that Veronica is a secret clown. She is. She loves the circus. Uh, and then who else loved the circus? There, there was, was another Veronica. No, there was another magic thing. Um, and then also, oh, Noelle, there, you're right. There was another magic thing. Yeah. And then also, Noel, she got to um, witness a lot of magic tricks at Hibachi last week. So if you want to hear about that, you can go to BS on our Patreon as well. You want to hear that. Trust me. You do. 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk is always free. Teen Mom Trash Talk, always free. Um, and that's it. So let's let's jump in the pool. So okay. Neve is juggling. Yep. We meet Miranda. She's in love with two guys, but he's the same guy. Miranda. Bless Sorry, you. I couldn't that, control it. Mar- Miranda, <laughs> that's not that's not accurate. Yeah, you're in love with one person who's catfished you before. Oh God. All mm-hmm. right. So she's from she's 21. She's from Minnesota. Right. And she met Cameron in 2011. Uh, they never met, but she's in love with him. And they talk on the phone every single night before bed. That's their little uh, ritual. Thing they do. Yeah, yeah. Their ritual. That's their obsession. Yeah. Cool. Great. So he lives in California, but pretty quickly she finds out that he actually lied and he's James from Atlanta. Um, right. Cause she went to California and he was like, my car is broken. Right. My toe fell off, you know? Right. Yeah. So three years they've right. been talking, they've never video chatted and she just wanted someone to listen. Now that is the theme of catfish. It is. It's like, do you not have friends? Okay. But people are like, what do you love so much about him? And they're like, he listens to me. He listens. What to do me. you love so much about her? He listens. She listens to me. That's basically everything that's happening. It's weird. So she had reverse searched his picture and he was tagged as someone else. So she reverse searched the picture. That was a club picture. Right. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Right. So she didn't talk to him for a few months, but all of a sudden she needed someone to confide in. Um, mm-hmm. So she had to call him again. So Neve and Max drive to her house because they're already in Minnesota from last week's episode. Huh? Interesting. <laughs> so uh, she looks crazy. Come on with the outfit. She looks crazy. Um, she has a flower crown headband, but it's yes. not. It's not. This is um a garland that you put around your window for a little zhuzhing. Well, that's the thing. If she didn't have the headband on, maybe mm-hmm. just tone things down a little bit. I would yeah, think well, better of this. She's showing them her outfit and it is not good. No, she's like hippie, but like, but like thrift, but like not in not a good way. Not cohesive. No, like she's, she's just trying too hard. It looks like it's laundry day. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what it, it looks, looks like. like. She's going to a Halloween party. Yes. Mm-hmm. So her mom is washing dishes with the dog. I think uh-huh. the, her mom was washing. I think the dog was drying. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> so her mother was also wearing the color of the season of last season. She was wearing a neon chartreuse sweatshirt. Interesting. I picture her mother in pink. I think later on she was wearing pink. Maybe later. Yeah. So her mother has Crohn's, so right. she can't be a daycare woman anymore she called her like a daycare woman yeah she said she's a daycare mom right i don't know what that means but i mean you run a daycare 
Yeah. And then she was also a nurse. Right. So she said that she has Crohn's, which is a terminal disease. Right. Okay. So she says it's terminal. And I'm like, well, that's not true. I mean, maybe her Crohn's is. I don't know. I don't know. So uh, also James can totally relate to exactly how she feels because James's sister has leukemia. So he understands now, even if this is unprompted, true, even if unprompted. this is true. Uh-huh. Okay. My mom has Crohn's. Right. Your sister has leukemia. How is that the same? Not the same. They say she's the same, but she's not the she's same. Not the uh-huh. same. But you know what would be the same? What? If James's mom had Crohn's. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the same. Or even leukemia, though, I feel like. Right. Like if his mom was sick, was like sick. your sister right. being sick is not the same as your mom being sick. Yeah, she's I not. agree. You listen, you can definitely empathize with someone. It's like I also have a sick family member. Yeah. but Don't say it's exactly the same. No, she's just looking for any connection. Sure, I know. Mm-hmm. So um, she says mm-hmm. fashion has always been a part of my life. That is a quote. And let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. Your headband and your outfit. Tell me that is a lie. Right. She's like, I live at the mall. OK. OK. Listen. You can live at the mall. Sure. Fashion has always been a part of my life. Your headband and outfits just say otherwise. Yeah, your headband definitely sings a different tune. Your outfit and headband uh, say that um, maybe uh, fashion was a part of my life. Right. At some point in my life. And now is just not the time. Right. It's just fashion isn't for me. Right. That's what it's saying. That's what her outfit's saying. Well, so because fashion is a part of her life, she wants to move to L.A. or New York City. Noelle, Mm -hmm. what part of your life is fashion? Her whole life? No, she moved to L.A. Okay, that's what. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but here's the thing. Like, yeah. Were you a fashion designer? Did you work in fashion merchandising? No. (laughs) So what does that mean? that she's upset she's like one of those girls who like likes to draw and it was like i'm gonna have a clothing line okay but did she try to have a clothing line no that's what, like what does yeah. that mean so you moved to LA for what i think that she was going to school or she was going to go to school i don't know if she went to school but i think that was her plan all right so she explains a little bit more about these fake pictures so the pay- fake pictures were club photos do you remember right. this is like a very of the time velvet thing. rope.com of yes. course i do thank you mm-hmm. all right so it says the little um like the club's name on the picture it's like a watermark kind of thing right so she went there and she found the actual pictures and it, someone else was tagged so she did her own investigating she did her own investigating yeah. so he kept lying he was like no he he like had a lie about He's the gonna lies. stick to it so now she had to move home. She has right. no more friends. Well, that's the thing. And she's like, like all my friends. What happened? I don't know. Forgot me. Don't like me. So because you move, you don't talk to anybody anymore. How long did you live there? One month, maybe. That was a really crazy month. If you lost all of your friends. That's what I don't understand. That was so weird to me. It's like, you don't have one friend. He's your only friend. Right. So that's telling me a lot about your character between that and this Joanne fabric crown you have on your head. It was more of a Michaels. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh-huh. what's it? You know uh, what I mean? Six to one, half dozen to the other. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. My mom says that. Oh. Okay. So now um, she reached out to him because she needed to speak to James in Atlanta. Right. Um, and James in Atlanta was escaping reality. That's why he was using James. That's why he was using Cameron from L.A. That's what everyone says on this show. But it's like mm-hmm. you're using a regular looking guy's photos and then you go to using a different regular guy's. Using, right. Like, like, why? Don't, I don't know. Wouldn't don't you know. change like gender or something. race or something? Right. All right. So Neve and Max look at her chats and mm-hmm. she said that she wanted to marry him. OK, well. Mm-hmm. Moving forward, Neve and Max are now having free hotel cookies during the investigation. Tracy's like, I would rather die. I'd rather die. First of all, the hotel goers are all putting their hands in the cookie bin. Well, that's my problem. I have to. Second of all, those are like 
either those are like the subway cookies that they come in like the frozen and then you bake them off subway cookies are a way of life so don't talk okay. shit about subway cookies when i worked at the italian ice stand right we had the same cookie they were like mrs fields right mm-hmm. and i would have to take them out of the freezer mm-hmm. and bake the cookies and when we baked the cookies it smelled so good Oh, yum. There is something about a Mrs. Fields cookie. I'm, I never like go to the grocery store and like buy cookies, but like no, they have to be like fresh baked. Yeah, that's way yeah. different. So they search James's pictures, no hits. And then they find the name of the guy in Atlanta on Facebook. So they search his name on Facebook. Right. And they find out that he's a sex offender and he but he's in jail. He's confined to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, guys, you're reaching. Right. It's like, wait, what? And then Max is like, um, maybe. And he was like, I don't think he's calling her from jail no. every day. So now hang, they find hang. Uh-huh. From that's, the phone number. That's from the what f- I could not feel figure out what hang was. Okay, okay. So from the phone number look up, they find hang. Yeah. So they look up hang whatever on Facebook and they see that she's related to James. Right. A James. Right. Okay. Great job, guys. But that's what I mean. Like, none of this is panning out. Why are you wasting my time? Because waste your time 2014. Yeah, 2014. Definitely. Okay. So they basically go meet her. They say it's at a boutique. It's at the Salvation Army. My favorite place. This is not. love this. What is this? This is she's just shopping and shopping and shopping. She's trying on like a sweater. Okay. I was really into the sweater. Okay. But she comes out and they're like, yes, yes, this is it. Okay, I agree because it's like it's not like she was trying on a bustier, right? She had on like she didn't have she on, had a on a red carpet sweater dress. that zipped and it was mesh. So I did like that. Okay, but like also you had to go into the dressing room to try that on. I know, really. Wow, guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so now she's there with her best friend, and is that her sister? So I don't know because she says that's like her taller, younger sister. But like, is that her okay. sister? I don't know. Her sister is uh-huh. making the wackiest faces. Her sister is Jordan, right? Yeah, she is. You have to see the faces she's making. Guys, when you watch this, can episode, you show us? It's like. <laughs> She seems good. If you guys are listening well. to this on audio, go subscribe to us on YouTube so you, you can have see to. my impersonation <laughs> of this girl's poor sister. This looks so good. So uh, they're calling James from the outside, right? Neve goes outside and calls James. Right. And he said that he a, has a lot going on. And Neve's like, well, she's going to move on if you don't meet. So he's like, okay, fine. You can come to Atlanta. And he's actually in Atlanta. Right. Right. So they fly to Atlanta. I like and that they're like, what's your instinct? And she's like, that it's him. No, that's everyone's instinct on yeah, catfish. That's obviously. why you're here. That's why now, you're here. though, when they, when they picked her up, she was dressed like me. Yeah. She had on like hoop earrings and a leather jacket and yeah, like a she fun, was just like, skull shirt. I liked yeah, it. She was just it was like, just don't be a hippie. Be a regular. <laughs> she was trying too hard with those outfits. That was the problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they go to Atlanta. Right. They get there. She calls him. It goes to voicemail. So they go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Also, Neve has a really big jacuzzi tub. In Tracy, I was going to be like, where is he? Is he at the Loop in Jersey? Is he in the Rock Room? He's at um, the Cove Haven Resorts in, in Pennsylvania. He's at Mount oh, Airy Lodge. Fine. He's at Mount, Mount Airy Lodge. Right? All you have to bring is your love of everything. Beautiful Mount Airy Lodge. My father that? thought those commercials were so ridiculous. The way that people would dance in them, he in the disco in Mount Airy no. Lodge, he would scream, laugh. They would snowshoe. Yeah, oh, I remember. I remember. I could snowshoe. see it in my head. It looks. It's like relax. Yeah, I know. You're in Pennsylvania. You're in relax. PA, friend. Right. You go take a walk with some uh, tennis rackets strapped to your take feet. A walk on the wild side. Oh my god. Um, there's a lot of comedy that goes on in those resorts too. That I didn't know. Tons of comedy. Yeah, they always have a comic. Interesting. That's um, probably fun. One day it's going to happen. For they me. probably have to be like super clean though, right? Like a cruise ship? No, because remember, it's a couples only adult resort. Okay. I didn't even know if it was just adults yeah. only. Okay. It's a couples adult resort. I mean, if you want to go and get a Like if you're going to champagne. Great Wolf Lodge, then right, well, you have to be clean. Yes. Uh, if you're getting a champagne tub jacuzzi by yourself- you I got to go really champagne tub jacuzzi. 
I don't. I want to go on my own jacuzzi that no one's been in before because I don't want your bacteria. Not yours. I want your bacteria. Thank you. Um, I want your bacteria. Well, good news. This week, I heard I'll be in a brand new jacuzzi that's only mine. Okay, good for you. I'm really excited about that. There's no outside bacteria. I'm going to be the test dummy for the for the <laughs> hot tub outside. Put bleach in it <laughs> while it's you're salt in water. It. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Interesting. I'm really excited. That's about That's cool. This. That's like taking an Epsom salt hot tub. I hope I don't faint. I think I'm going to be alone. You anyway, might I'm faint. Okay. <laughs> That's great. good. Great. Mm-hmm. Great. Um, now I have brand new fears. Okay. New so now fear unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, James is ghosting them. Right. Finally, he texts back. He said that his family is preventing him from meeting her. They won't let him meet her. Sure. I've but he said he can before. Skype. They said he could. He said that he could Skype. So mm-hmm. they Skype with him. Also, did you know she has on a graffiti skirt? Yes. There's graffiti all over her skirt. That was kind of fun. She probably made it. Um, yeah. So now they Skype. Ta-da! It's a girl named Gabby. She's 18 years old. So she was like 15 when they started talking. Right. Inappropriate. She said that mm-hmm. Miranda's her best friend. So they said, why wouldn't your family let you meet her? And right. she said, because they don't know about her. Right. So I think that none she of meant- that is true. Right. But so they I do- think she also means maybe they don't know that they didn't I'm know. gay. I don't right. know. Well, now here's the other thing. I thought this was like a really weird thing. Mm-hmm. So Neve's like, so you're bisexual or a lesbian. Right. And it's like, well, she doesn't. Well, she said she doesn't know. She she's says not she sure. Know, but right. But like, I don't know. I thought that that was like pretty. I don't know. Rude. Um, I don't know. I think that maybe he just didn't say it. Right. Like I would just gently? say like, so, you you know, are you I would romantically say, are you attracted inter- to her? Yeah. Are you something? attracted to her yeah. sexually? Are you romantically yeah. interested in her? Like, I don't know what you are. Who cares yeah. what you are? Well, it doesn't matter. Right. So now all of a sudden you have to identify as something like. Yeah. That was a little bit weird. So um, Gabby is also chewing gum. See, I don't notice these things. Yeah. So Miranda wants to meet face to face. Right. And. So Gabby's like, I have to find a way to meet you. I'll let you know. D- don't call like me. I'll call 7-Eleven. you. <laughs> okay. So she tells her to meet her at one o'clock at Catfish Park. So they it's get to Catfish, Catfish Park, Park. And she said, I'm so sorry. I really can't come. She's just uh, scared. But this girl is hysterical. Miranda. Yeah, because hmm, Miranda doesn't care who it is. Okay. Thank you. Because yeah. I got to tell you. If I was talking to some guy, it turned yeah. out to be anyone else, anyone else. I don't care if it was a girl or a guy. I don't even want to meet you. Well, so that's what I was going to say. I wouldn't even want to meet her. You I got to talk to her on Skype. Okay, we spoke. I'm going home now. Thank you. Yeah. She is hysterical. She really doesn't come. And then that's it. I know, which was like, this was like a first on Catfish. We're like, they really, but this is also a little bit of um foreshadowing for the, for the Zoom pandemic. This is true. Thank you. Yours All early. Right. Now, a month later. Yeah. Gabby feels remorse for what she did. She's sure. been Snapchatting and FaceTiming with Miranda. Mm-hmm. Move on to Miranda. Miranda forgave her and she's at the mall. Huh. That's where all the fashion overs are. Tracy, all the fashion that's her second home. That's fashion week. Every that- week is fashion week at the mall. It's her second home, Tracy. We went to the mall. We're fashion overs. We must be. We must be. All right. So Neve and Max are like, well, obviously your conversations aren't romantic anymore. And she said, no, the conversations are still romantic. They're flirting. She loves her. She does. And they're going to hang out. Yeah. Like she's going to come visit her. Gabby's going to go visit Miranda. To scissor. Yeah. I mean, good for them. But it's also like, it just makes me think not because Gabby is a girl. It just makes me think that Miranda just doesn't care. Miranda just wants someone Mm -hmm. because Miranda was okay with being catfished more than once. Right. Right. So now she was catfished three times. Right. Same person. Yeah. So that's the thing. It's like, oh, okay, good. Okay. What do you know? Okay. So I don't know anything about Gabby. The only thing I can find is... I'm not 100% if this is Gabby or not. It's Gabby, in quotes, the catfish Kate. 
okay. real ass bitch in a fake ass world. That's their Instagram. But okay. I don't know. There's been two Gabby's on catfish. Ah. So I don't know which okay. one it is because one is like infamous and she was like catfishing for like 10 years. So I right. don't know if that was her or not. But I found this article on Bustle and it's just okay. a little um, update. Um, according to Miranda's Instagram, Okay. Gabby managed to change her life because Miranda seems to be in a very happy relationship with a girl. And although I'm sad that she had what, what she had with Gabby didn't turn into a lasting thing. She and her current girlfriend are super cute together. Their relationship is going so well that they're moving in together. Um, so they had a very nice relationship. But she also said about Gabby, as far as us dating or being in a relationship right now, that is not happening. We are friends, and I believe that both of our paths in this life have crossed for a reason. Whether it's a lesson or a blessing, I could make an argument for both. I love Gabby endlessly, and I will always will, no matter what. Okay. So I thought that was so nice. Yeah. Um, I found Miranda on Instagram. Okay. That girl, Miranda. Yes. Uh, she's married. She mm -hmm. works. She's a store manager. She's an aunt. She's a cat mom. She seems to just be living like a regular ass low key right. life. Okay. Yeah. And good for her. She seems super happy. Well, well, Miranda and Gabby. Yeah. I'm glad that you found what you were looking for. Me too. Thank you so much. Uh, Noel, <laughs> great research. Thank you so much. Great Sometimes update. it's hard to find the catfish. No, I mean, listen, great. Because I don't think I'd want to be found. Thank you. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Some of them really like to be found. I think some of them just do it because they want to be found. But other ones, I think they're embarrassed. Like, what are you going to do when you see me on catfish? A squeal, jump faint drool <laughs> die who would i catfish and what would i do who would you uh yeah but why would you you're just not a catfisher i could not imagine like you love alec baldwin would you pretend to be someone else oh to be with alec i don't yeah, think alec is no. interested alec just had his seventh child with hilaria what's the baby's with, name <laughs> he just had his seventh child with Ilaria, and they named the baby Ilaria. <laughs> That's so crazy. Noel, I left. Are you going to name my... your baby Noe? Maybe. Or just O.L. <laughs> Stop it. O -L. O -L, and, o L and at. <laughs> o L and at. Oh, man. First like, name. What? What a name. OK, but it's just so funny because her name is Hillary. This whole scandal had come out. Right. Her name is Hillary. She's lying about like being like like English as a second language. Her accent is fake. Right. All this is fake. Her name is Hillary. Right. She calls herself Eladia. And mm -hmm. then she names the baby Elaria. That's hilarious. Why? <laughs> Why don't people like everyone went crazy about it and they forgot about it like a week later? I know I did not forget, but I'll I will tell forget. you this. Yeah. They make the same baby all the time. Like, I'm not positive that this is a regular naturally conceived child, like any of them. I think they're all like made in a lab. Maybe. I mean, like, I, I think that they like, I think they clone their children. I don't think this is sperm and egg. You never know. From what I've heard, I think they're all, propagating um, them. From what I heard, most of them are surrogates. They were, they're born. Some of them were, no, I yeah. think, I think one or two of them were surrogates, but I the don't other know. I she, went, I went deep into a red. What happened? Hole. How many like, were surrogates? Well, people, I mean, like, I watched her give birth like 12 times. Oh no, I believe it. You probably saw her crown, <laughs> but there, there's just don't let so your much crown fall off. Eladia. There's just so much about her. Like she's really bent in the head. I got to tell you. I'm here for it. I love it. I so love it for Alec. I love so it for I. us. Was that um, their seventh child? That was their seventh together. Um, but these children, yeah, I'm telling you, they're taking like one of their fingers and like cutting it off and like really? putting it in the dirt and growing another child. There's no way. Are they like is... cuties? They're adorable. Really? But they're the same child over and over That's again. Funny. They don't even look different. How old is Alaria? Ilaria? Yeah. Ilaria is she's like younger uh, than two me, years maybe? younger. I think she's 36. That's so Ilaria? crazy. I wonder you how mean, many more you mean kids Hillary? she's going to have. Yeah, I wonder how many more kids Hillary from Massachusetts is going to have. <laughs> she's so <gasps> crazy. Oh, God. I <sighs> heard that they had a surrogate because she had like a brand deal, like an average. That was like one of her advertisers. You know how like we get an advertiser and they're like, oh, we're going to send you this cereal because we're advertising it and you get yeah. a sample of the cereal. I think that there was a surrogate company that was like, oh, we're going to sponsor you. So do you want to have a baby real quick? 
Are you telling me the truth? No, no, no. I'm telling you. That's, oh. that's what I read. I don't know if that's true. Wow. Maybe we can get them as a sponsor one day. <laughs> and then what do we do with the baby? We share it? Wait, Mac brings it to the firehouse. <laughs> no. Come <hell>. on. <laughs> no. Hell. It's so simple. That's a great idea. I would yeah. like, okay. The baby could be like their mascot. <laughs> They could keep it in the fire. You could keep it in the like fire. Like a Dalmatian? House. Yeah. It could go down the pole <laughs> in a basket, like Moses. Yeah. I would, no, you know what would be fun, though? Mm -hmm. If we had a baby to share for like a week, that would be fun. Yeah. Then I feel like I would just wind up having it all the time. No, and then we could like, not share it anymore. What, you think you would take custody? Yeah, you would be like, I don't want to share this uh, anymore. It's been a day. <laughs> meaning that I would give it to you yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's accurate. <laughs> um, like, that was cute. That was two hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm very was... tired right now. <laughs> <laughs> very That's good so snuggler, funny. the baby, but mm -mm, yeah, not this for, isn't for me. Not for me. Yeah. Also, I just let it free shit in the tub. <laughs> People do that. That's a thing. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah. Right. I would have to have an extra bathroom for the baby, and it, the baby would just live in the bathtub, and I would hose it down a lot. Oh, is that what you would do? Sounds good. You put a top fence on the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you want more of this <laughs> and more of us, patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. This is what happens when we podcast too late at night. Uh, by the way, too late at night is 7.38 p.m. And I'm like, I have to get into bed right away. I know. I'm like, I can't wait to stop this and take my makeup off and put my pajamas on because I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm in loungewear. It's time for pajama wear. <laughs> oh, my God. What a change. Um, mm -hmm. Noelle is on uh, Catfish Trash Talk on Instagram. You I can am. follow her at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming show dates, my stand-up comedy. Um, everything podcast related, make sure you're subscribing to us on YouTube. If you're listening to us on audio, if you're subscribing to us on YouTube and you just don't like what we look like, <laughs> we have these days to subscribe it's to fine. us on audio instead. Yeah. It's and fine. We'll see you, uh, over there, but wait, what? there's more. What? Join our Facebook group, Catfish Trash Talk on Facebook. You could talk about the show. You could talk about this podcast. You could talk about us, whatever you want to talk about. Come on over. That Come works. on over. Come on over, baby. Okay, bye. Bye.